said so Georgia, look at Georgia, once one of our great states, one of our great Trump states, I won it very bigly in 2016, and I also, by the way, that's right, I won it in 2020, they don't want me, oh, don't say that, so don't say it, now I'm saying it, I'm saying it, and I'll say it louder, I won very big in Georgia in 2020, they don't like that, too bad, now, I remember, I used to love Georgia, I used to love it, now, cause, now it's like, it's a sad place. When I was campaigning in 2016, we were going to go to Georgia, and there's a campaign, we were in Mar-a-Lago, and we watched a movie called Deliverance. I said, oh, it takes place in Georgia, let's watch this, and we prepared, and it was a tough movie, and I remember Mike Pence, straight to Mike Pence, after watching Deliverance, first person to volunteer to go to Georgia and do strong camp. He said, sir, let me be the first, I'll go, and I'll get on all fours and campaign like a prayer warrior for you, sir. And I said, okay, Mike, calm down. But okay, we'll send you to Georgia if that's what you want. If you want deliverance, you can go there and get deliverance. And what we got out of Mike Pence was a, a wet blanket full of treason. Very sad, very sad what happened to him. And now we get to 2020. And I make a call, I make a call to Ben Roethlisberger, Secretary of State. Used to be a friend. Used to go off at Mar-a-Lago with me. Used to be a football player, so I thought he was tough. But I called him and asked him to find the votes. Not to make up votes. Excuse me. Shut up. To make up votes. I didn't say that. I said to find the missing votes. Okay? Very big difference. And he said, no, I can't do that, sir. And I said, uh, you know what? I wish they convicted you, Big Ben. You're acting like small Ben right now. And so from those things, they come up with a criminal case. Because they put, what you're talking about, Willis? a black in charge of prosecutions down there. And it seems whenever you put a black in charge of prosecutions, they come after Trump because they're racist. They're racist, okay? And they probably learned that I said the N-word a lot in private. So how can they fairly prosecute me when they know that, okay? So, and on top of that, I'm stronger on criminal justice than them. I once asked for the death penalty for innocent teenagers. That's how strong, I'm willing to execute innocent teenagers just to prove how strong I am on crime. Nobody's stronger on crime than me. And, well, we call it criminal justice. I didn't mean to, you know what I meant. Now you're going to say that now I said I do crime. I don't do crime. I actually do non-crime. That's what it's called. And now we have to go to Georgia and fight. And we have to fight, and guess what? This isn't going to be like January 6th, which was a peaceful protest. I've already talked to some of the strongest blacks I know. Because, you know, they say fight fire with fire. Well, I'm going to fight blacks with blacks. And I've talked to Herschel Walker, who I, you know, I call him Tim Scott on steroids because he's such a good guy, but he's so strong, so obedient, but so tough. He's got MMA skills. He's got football skills. He's got CTE, MMA. He's an AA, African-American. So we're going to send Herschel to the grand jury when they're voting, and he's going to tackle everybody. He's going to totally destroy everybody in the Georgia Grand Jury, and then we'll see if they come out with a pulse, let alone a true bill. So thank you, Herschel, for your strong patriotism. Instead of January 6th, we're calling it an August 15th, and it's going to be called Augteenth. We're coming up with a new non-woke holiday to celebrate a black named Herschel Walker, who's going to peacefully assault the grand jury in Georgia. So thank you, Herschel. Fight for your president. Fight for justice. And uh, we'll see what happens.